Hi boys and girls. I am Mrs. Flanagan and I am a Junior Achievement volunteer. I have been volunteering with Junior Achievement for many years and it's become one of my favorite things that I get to do. I love teaching and I love working with kids so it's one of the best opportunities for me. My company, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas, lets me come and volunteer for Junior Achievement. And Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas is an insurance company. You may have heard about us. I am the Director of Human Resources. What's Human Resources? Well, it's kind of like it sounds. I get to help people. Growing up, I had the biggest heart and I love taking care of people and making sure they had what they need to be able to be successful. And so I get to do that in my job. I get to help people find new jobs or new opportunities around our company. They come to me when they have problems or they're not feeling well, and I get to help them solve those problems. I absolutely love what I do and that's so important when you get to wake up in the morning and be excited about the job that you have and truly be passionate and have a lot of energy around it. That's me every day. I love what I do. I get to be here with you guys for five sessions, which I'm so excited about. And today is session one. I get to tell you more about junior achievement and what it is. I get to talk to you about how to make money, what jobs there are, and maybe starting a business. Do some of you guys want to start your own business someday? I hope so. Throughout our sessions, we are gonna to cover topics surrounding our community. And like I said, today is session one. So let's start with what is a community? As you might recall, a community is where people live, work, play, and go to school. In communities, people have jobs, which is work that someone does and gets paid for. In order to have jobs, communities must have businesses. And businesses are places that make or sell things that we need or want. Inside our community, we also have citizens. And citizens are people who live in that community. If you took junior achievement in first grade, you might remember you learned about needs and wants. This was one of my favorite sessions that I got to teach as a volunteer. It's fun to hear what kids think needs and wants actually are. And I find myself having to remind my own children, I have three of them, I have to remind my own children about their own needs and wants. So let's review. All right, so first we have a need. What are some things that you need? Food, shelter, water, clothing. Those are some things I can think of pretty quickly. Those are things that you have to have to be able to live or survive. A want is something that people would like to have but they don't really need it to live. And so I can think of a couple examples that I talked to my kids about. Do you really need the PlayStation 5 or do you just want the PlayStation 5? What about a brand new basketball or a brand new volleyball or a brand new bike? We don't always need those things to live, but we might want those things to live. People who work often have to have skills. So that's our, our last word today. I can tell you when I worked on um, being in the position that I'm in today, I have the public speak. I'm public speaking right now, even though nobody's in here, but you're on the other side of that computer monitor. It didn't always come easy to me. I could sometimes be a little bit shy. So I had to work on developing that skill. 
Sometimes, I told you we have 1,600 employees. Sometimes I have to do meetings in front of our employees or I have to make a presentation to other leaders in the company or the board of directors. And that can be a little nerve wracking, but I've developed the skills to do a good job. So a skill is the ability to do something well. And sometimes you have to work at it. Some of you might play sports and you have to develop skills like how to dribble a basketball or how to serve a volleyball. In our upcoming sessions, we are going to talk about various jobs in the community. And you might see this poster. We'll spend time talking about all of the different jobs that these individuals have in their community. I'm so excited to see you, my friends. See you next time.